hello guys and welcome back to the channel this is Ayush and now in this video we will talk about uh, like one of the basic command that is MV command it like it basically stands for move so basically in this video we will talk about how we can move files from one location to another or also you can say uh, like uh, how we can move directory from one location to another location okay so today in this video we are gonna learn about this uh, like how we can move files from one location to another so first of all let me open up the terminal and now let me just increase the font size for you guys so it should be visible to you and I will just open up these files uh, for your reference so whatever we will perform here it will be visible to you guys okay okay so now what I will do first of all I will create one directory mkdir move move command okay and uh, now what we will need to do uh, let me clear I will move into that particular directory and I will create uh, one file touch uh, file one dot txt we will create okay and here is touch uh, file one dot txt okay uh, also let me uh, for, no wait a minute I will try to create a file with for cat command because I have to write something in it this is file one control D okay now it is save now uh, what we will do I have to move this file one dot txt okay file one dot txt from this move move command directory to some another directory that is I have to move this uh, on to suppose desktop okay so now what I will do uh, first of all I will open up one more terminal and uh, I will move into the CD desktop okay I will do PWD I will check the uh, like path of that particular desktop where it is so here you can see home I use desktop okay so now what we will do I will use here MV and like stands for move I have to move file one dot txt to home I use desktop and here what uh, you can do like uh, like this command uh, is also useful like changing the name like we can also rename files okay but here I'm going to use only file dot txt okay and I will hit enter and uh, on the desktop I will do here ls so here you will see file dot txt has been like created okay or uh, you can see here also on the desktop uh, I think it is here here you can see the file dot txt has been created okay so uh, this is the basics of uh, how we can move files from one location to another now uh, like this command is also useful in renaming files okay so if I will do lsr so there is nothing because we have already moved it uh, let's create another file cat file 2 dot txt this is file 2 okay and this and now what I want I want to rename this file file 2 I want to make it file 3 so we can do it mv file 2 same here I will do just file 3 dot txt and I will do ls and here you will see the name of the file 2 has been changed to file 3 now let's check the content of file 3 whether it is same or not so cat file 3 so it is this is file 2 okay so in this way you can also rename the uh, like file names okay I hope you got it uh, now let me tell you one more another thing like uh, if suppose uh, here is file dot txt okay on the desktop and uh, you want to move that uh, file one which is here 
to move into this particular directory or particular location so if already file1.txt like uh, exist here so uh, what will happen when we will uh, like uh, try to move files from this location to this location with the same and then it will overwrite so to overcome overcome this issue what we will use we will use hyphen i command not command hyphen i flag we will use okay first what i will do i will uh, change the file name to file one not file one file dot txt i will change ls okay now what i will do mv file dot txt then home ayush desktop and again file dot txt and here i will use hyphen i option and here you can see override do you want to override this particular file which it exists it is asking so i can say yes or no but before uh, let's check the content of this file this is file one it, it is sorry now i will do yes and uh, hit enter and now i will again check the content of this file so here you can see this is file 2 okay i hope it is visible to you yeah this is this file 2 is the now the like uh, recent content of this file because it is overwritten okay now next uh, what are we i have to do i will try to move uh, like uh, some files into one particular directory okay so what i will do i will create uh, two files one dot txt two dot txt uh, let's create a dot txt also okay now you can see ls so these are the three files which we have created now i will um, make a directory here on the desktop mkdir uh, move files okay now what I will do mv 1.txt 2.txt 3.txt into the directory home ayush desktop on desktop what we have move files we'll hit enter and we'll do ls so here we can see there is no any files here now I will move into the move files and I will do ls so here you can see all the files has been like moved at this particular locations okay so uh, this is the another way to like moving files from one location to another like from uh, one location to any kind of directory in which you want okay now moving uh, forward uh, what we can do uh, like how you can copy like one directory to another location okay or renaming it okay so let me go back here and now at desktop here you can see move files and one directory that is test directory okay now what i want i want to first rename this file or uh, this directory so move files i will try to rename it m files now let's so here you can see the like move files has been changed to m files now what now i want to move this m files into this test directory uh, so what i can do uh, mv m files and in the test enter ls there is no m files here now cd change directory to test now let's do ls and here you can see m files has been moved at this particular location or you can say add the test directory okay so in this way uh, like you can move files from one location to another or uh, from one directory to another or how you can also rename files and also in this video you learn about it so today we will stop here and we will meet in the next video so thank you thank you for watching and please if you have any queries then you can ask us in the comment section okay so thank you thank you for watching and we will meet in the next video thank you